Ya, karibu tena hapa Black Forex kwa ajili ya kujifunza kuhusiana na Forex na leo tutaenda kuangalia aina ya Forex traders. Ni moja ya kitu ambacho pia natakiwa kukifahamu na hili ni swala ambalo watu wengi sana wanasahau especially watu ambao tayari ni traders. Lazima ujue unachokifanya unaweka order, lazima ufahamu aidha wewe umescap au umefanya swing au umefanya aina gani ya 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 ya, ya, ya trading na wewe ni aina gani ya trader sio mbaya kuwa trader ambaye uko kwenye aina zote hizi ambazo nitazitaja lakini uh, ni vyema zaidi ukijua wewe ni nani ni aina gani ya trader na hii itakusaidia sana na the way ambavyo utakuwa position kufahamu aidha wewe ni swing au wewe ni scapa au wewe ni day or position trader ndivyo ambavyo uh, utakuwa pia unatumia strategies because sio kila strategy ina fit kwenye aina zote nne so kuna strategies ambazo ni nzuri sana kwa kuswing kuna strategy ambazo ni nzuri sana kwa kuscap kwa position na day so ukishafahamu ina aina gani ya trader itakusaidia sana pia wewe kuweza ku, kujua ni aina gani ya strategies ambazo zitakuwa very productive kwako lakini kitu kingine ambacho natakiwa kufahamu ni kwamba Uh, unaweza ukawa scapa but uh, ni, ni, ni mara nyingi scalping inaendana na time frame so lazima pia ufahamu kwamba hizi aina za, za traders zinaendana sana na time frame husika kwa mfano kama wewe ni scalping uh, ni scapa uh, trader it means kwamba you are scalping uh, lazima uwe kwenye time frame fulani ambao always ni ndogo because if you scalp it means unachukua some few pips then you are out of the market so scalping unatumia time frame dogo the more tunashuka chini hapo utaenda kuona time frame gani tunazitumia so lazima pia ufahamu time frame ambayo ni nzuri zaidi kwa kufanya analysis lakini uh, time frame nzuri for interest always huwa ni uh, most of time inatumia 15 minutes uh, na, na ya yeah, 15 minutes au uh, 30 minutes depending pia na time frame ambayo nimefanyia analysis ina ukubwa gani lakini siwezi nikasema eti entry inaenda kuangalia kwenye time frame ya H1 wakati analysis nimefanya kwenye H4 no that is not right okay so entry tunarudi nyuma zaidi kuangalia na umuhimu wa kutumia time frame dogo kama ulikuwa ufahamu kuweka entry wa ni kwamba uh, unataka ku minimize risk unataka kupunguza risk Okay, kwa sababu time frame kubwa inaweza kukuambia buy lakini kumbe uh, ukibuy at that point sio the right entry. Kwa hiyo natakuwa kwenda kuangalia kwenye time frame dogo na unasubiria sasa time frame dogo ikukuambia kubuy kama ambavyo time frame kubwa imekwambia then unaweza ukabuy kwenye hiyo point na unaweza kushangaa uh, ile order yako ikaenda kwenye negative kidogo sana then ikaenda kwenye positive na hii ndo tunasema risk management pia na high probable uh, high probability ya kuingiza faida kuliko loss. Na hii ni state hii ni ninaweza ni, nikasema ni trick ya especially watu ambao wanaanza na account ndogo kwa sababu ukianza na account ndogo sana na lazima uwe makini sana kwenye entry. Kama entry zako zinaenda hadi negative 20, maana una utumia time frame dogo ili kuweza kuangalia entry ambayo ni nzuri unaenda direct kwenye time frame kubwa hii inaweza kupelekea ukashindwa kuwa mtu ambaye una uwezo wa kuanza na account ndogo and always ukawa ni mtu ambaye una 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 una, 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 una kwenye loss kubwa sana before jaenda kwenye profit uh, lakini pia hii pia itakupunguzia wewe uh, umakini i mean ku confidence ya kuweka order nyingi at the same time kwa sababu kila ukiweka order inaenda kwenye negative sana so ukiweka tano kama kila moja inaenda negative 20 it means itakuwa kwenye 100 negative kwa sababu tu unashindwa kufanya uh, kitu kinaitwa multiple time frame analysis so nilikuwa najaribu kuelezea time frame na umuhimu wake na aina zake za scalp za, za traders so naomba niende direct kwenye aina za forex traders namba moja ikiwa ni scalper trader na huyu anatusema kwamba huyu anafungua oda zake na kuzifunga within a few seconds <coughs> au sometimes within few minutes so unafungua oda yako after 5 minutes after 10 minutes uh, unaupo kwenye profit unafunga so unasubiria another opportunity you do the same so hapo tunasema una scalp au uh, unafanya scalping so na wewe tutakuita uh, scalper trader hiyo ni aina ya kwanza lakini aina ya pili inaitwa swing trader au tunawaita swingers. So swingers yeye ni kwamba anaweka oda yake then hiyo oda inalala 
one to four days na hii ni one of the good mimi naipenda sana hii swing kwa sababu pia ni very 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 useful kwangu because sometimes um, nakuwa napokuwa chuo inakuwa 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 ngumu sana ku scalp uh, inakuwa vizuri zaidi uki swing kuliko ku scalp so this is very nice so waina ukija kwenye swala la wewe ina aina gani ya forex trader sometimes pia inategemea na majukumu yako inategemea wewe pia ni mtu aina gani kwa sababu scalping inahitaji wewe mtu ambaye unaingia sokoni unaangalia opportunity una scalp una toko unaingia baadaye una scalp lakini kwa swing yeye mwanaika atatafuta opportunity zake tatu maybe then anazi swing then anazi cross within 1 to 4 days uh, aina ya tatu inaitwa day trader a day trader yeye ni kwamba ana open na ku close order zake within a single day kwa within the same trading day ana open order then anafunga within the same day uh, depending na profit pia aliyoipata so hao tunawaita day traders uh, kabla sijamalizia aina ya mwisho kabisa uh, kwa wale ambao wajani forex instagram black forex tunatumia lakini pia flood fx unaweza kaangalia link hapo chini nitaiweka ukiklik moja kwa moja itakupeleka kwenye page hizo za instagram so namba nne ni kwamba uh, ni position traders position traders ni kwamba wenyewe wana hold position for months so years sasa hao ndo watu ambao wanaweka order zao kwa miezi wanaiacha ina run ina run then at the end of the day wanakuja ku cross within maybe six months au mwezi mmoja even one year so anachofanya anasoma soko uh, katika time frame kubwa zaidi na anafanya analysis na kuja kupata kwamba okay uh, hii nadhani kwa mwaka mzima it seems kwamba uh, soko litakuwa katika bullish trend so anachofanya yeye ana buy ikiwa katika bearish it means ana sell so that is the only way ambavyo yeye ana trade so hawa ni traders ambao wana trade kwa namna hiyo so yeye yeah, angalia hapa katikati kuna nini lakini anaangalia the general trend of the year kwamba it is uptrend au vipi na these people are always people ambao wanakuwa na 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 na, na capital kubwa sana because uh, ukitrade kwa mwaka mzima afu capital yako ni ndogo inakuwa ngumu sana kwako wewe because Uh, press fluctuation in dog tunaweza kupelekea ika blow account yako within just a month so hawa ni watu ambao tayari wanakuwa na pesa wanakuwa ma pro traders na wanakuwa wazoefu sana kwenye soko hili la forex so that is the, 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 the those are four types of forex traders ambao wapo sasa swala kujiuliza wewe ni aina gani ya forex trader. So unaweza kashusha comment yako hapo. Remember forex tegemea na time frame ambayo unaitumia, unategemea na majukumu yako, una kazi gani, inategemea pia na capital yako. So from today start thinking about which kind of uh, forex trader you are and unaweza uka, uka, ukaanza sasa ku move uh, kuangalia strategies ambazo ni very productive uh, depending na aina ya wewe ya trader. Uh, wewe ni unafanya uh, scalping unafanya uh, swing unafanya aina gani ya, ya ya trading so that is the the best way ambavyo unatakiwa ufahamu na tum, uh, tomorrow nitaenda kufanya analysis ya soko uh, kupitia youtube channel so get ready uh, for this coming sunday tutafanya analysis ya wiki hii uh, kuanzia uh, tale tano Uh, jumatatu hii inayokuja and already kupitia page yangu pia ya Instagram nimeweka uh, news zote ambazo zitakuwa uh, very uh, zitakuwa na high impact this week uh, inaonekana New Zealand dollar ndio pair ambayo itakuwa na news nyingi zaidi so get ready for the analysis and always uh, uh, analysis ambazo nazitoa kule ni very productive and they are swing so you you have to swing so Unashaka kama ni swing trader inakuwa vizuri zaidi na kama sio unaweza ukajaribu ku swing then you can see how productive swing trading is. So asante sana kwa kunisikiliza paka next time.